Yeah, sure, Anna, this is not uh, a publication of uh, clinical data. What uh, I did is was just uh, to write a comment about a publication coming from the Myeloma UK group. And I, I think that in principle we had uh, the idea that lenalidomide, that it is the standard of care for maintenance therapy in every patient after autologous stem cell transplantation, was not effective in patients with high risk cytogenetic abnormalities. But when you do a careful evaluation across the different clinical trials, my personal opinion is that this has not been well addressed. So maybe this comment is not correct. And this is what the Myeloma UK group did in a post hoc analysis conducted in a big phase three clinical trial conducted in newly diagnosed myeloma patients after autologous stem cell transplantation. And the comparator arm was observation and the experimental arm was lenalidomide. And they did cytogenetic studies in a large group of patients included in this study. And what they showed is that lenalidomide is effective in patients with high risk cytogenetic abnormalities, especially for patients presenting a single high risk cytogenetic abnormalities. And this is the case for the lesion 17P414 or patients with abnormalities of the chromosome 1. I think that this is an important message because there are some physicians in the clinic that they consider lenalidomide is not effective in this population? The answer is no, and they have to utilize lenalidomide also in patients with high risk cytogenetic abnormalities. Is to that, can we improve? Maybe, especially in those patients presenting two or more high risk cytogenetic abnormalities. These patients do present a very poor outcome, and in this population, of course, we need to investigate combinations and all other approaches.